Welcome back to the course. Let us now start on part two. Recall in part one that we made the connection between Homeland Security and cybersecurity. Homeland Security is about safeguarding the United States from domestic catastrophic destruction. The 1995 Tokyo subway attacks demonstrated the ability of non-state actors to employ weapons of mass destruction and wield power once only available to nation states. 9-11 demonstrated the ability of non-state actors to achieve WMD effects by subverting critical infrastructure, in this case, turning passenger jets into deadly guided missiles. Cybersecurity is an integral component of critical infrastructure protection because cyberspace provides an avenue for attacking critical infrastructure from anywhere around the world. Cyber components make critical infrastructure susceptible to subversion, disruption, or destruction. And cyberspace itself is a critical infrastructure on which many other critical infrastructures depend. In part two, we will take a look at how cybersecurity policy is being applied to protect critical infrastructure. To be sure, we don't have time to look at every type of infrastructure. Recall that PPD 21 currently identifies 16 different infrastructure sectors. Of these sectors, the 2013 National Infrastructure Protection Plan designates four of them as lifeline infrastructure. It, these are infrastructures upon which all other infrastructures depend. The four lifeline infrastructure sectors are water, energy, transportation, and communications. Even these four lifeline sectors encompass 14 subsectors. Again, too many to examine within the scope of this course. Accordingly, we will only look at cybersecurity efforts as they pertain to four specific lifeline subsectors, water, electricity, aviation, and the internet. In part two, we will examine cybersecurity for the water and electricity subsectors. We will save the aviation and internet subsectors for part three. The presented material is based upon research conducted at the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs, on behalf of the Department of Homeland Security starting in October 2014. Don't forget to watch each lesson closely and try to answer the challenge questions at the end of each one. These practices will serve you well in mastering the course material. Now onward to lesson 11 and good luck.